What's up my friends? Aloha and thanks for coming back to the channel. If you're new, please like and subscribe. I'm doing a real fast video today. Nothing fancy. It's just going to be me talking for a few minutes. But I'm going to be talking about low light shooting, shooting in the dark, shooting at night, home defense and stuff. Specifically touching on fiber optic sites versus tritium versus dual illuminated and concepts surrounding firearm lights lumens and all kinds of stuff like that this is inspired by a question i got asked on instagram referring to um sites and if i pre if i prefer tritium versus fiber optics so jumping in right now just to keep this real quick and easy sites all right so you have tritium sites you have fiber optic sites and then you have dual illuminated sites what fiber optic sites are they look like this. This is the side off of my Glock 20 and I run fiber optics on this. A fiber optics site <clears throat> uses fiber optics <laughs> to gather ambient light and amplify the ambient light into your site so that they appear to glow or light up in the darkness. Tritium is different because it doesn't require any ambient light at all. It has radioactive materials in it, tritium, which because they're radioactive, they glow. Um, and they will work in complete darkness. They don't need any type of ambient light at all. Um, and they're a little bit too, a lot of bit more expensive than fiber optics, depending on who you're shopping with. Dual illuminated sites, I don't have any of those guys on my firearms. Dual illuminated sites use both fiber optics and tritium. So if you are in a situation where you are in complete darkness, darkness that tritium sites will glow up and you will be able to, to use your sites and you don't need to depend on any ambient light. Now that we're talking about sites, when I was first starting out with this, I was under the impression of, and I think a lot of people share this, that tritium is the best. Tritium is the one you want. Fiber optics sucks. Fiber optics is the old one. Fiber optics just sucks and it's cheap and it sucks. Tritium is the one to use. But consider this, if you are not running a, a light on your firearm and you're in complete darkness, yeah, your sights are gonna light up and you're gonna be able to see them but you're not gonna be able to see what you're shooting at at all, which is kind of a bad deal. Unless maybe you're in the dark spot and your target's lit up, which I don't know, but that's something that a lot of people I think tend to miss. Whereas with fiber optics, yeah, they're not gonna work in the dark, dark, black, dark, but they're gonna work in low light, extremely low light. As long as there's some type of light source around, they're gonna light up and they're gonna be just as good. Or they might be a little bit dimmer than the tritium, but they're gonna be usable, which leads me into uh, firearm lights. I know I'm calling them firearm lights and it might be weird to some of you folks, but we're taught, I'm trained to train people that these are not weapons, these are tools. I'm the weapon. I'm not military, I'm not <clears throat> police or anything, so I don't have that weapon, weapon, weapon. To me, how I was taught, and again, how I teach, how I train, this is a tool, you are the weapon. So, firearm lights. But when you search for them, search for weapon lights. Um, when we get to lights for your firearm, First of all, I think you should always be running them. You should, you should always have a light on your firearm if it's feasible. You know, if it's your deep concealment, everyday carry, then maybe you're not gonna be able to do that. But if you're able to carry light, I think it's really important. And in terms of home defense, it's extremely important that you have a light on your firearm because you need to identify your target. You need to be able to nav navigate around your home and most importantly, identify your target before you engage it to make sure it's not your dog or your kid or something sad and crazy like that. So combining what we've learned, what we've talked about with fiber optics and tritium, if I'm running a light on my firearm, that's my ambient light source that I'll always have. And that'll cause my tritium, my uh, fiber optic sites to light up and I'll be able to use them. So in that respect, I think tritium sites are maybe a little overrated, I guess I would say. Um, yeah, they're great, they're great. I have them, I use them, but um, I I don't know. I think if you're gonna be shooting in the dark, you should have a light, and if you have a light, you don't need tritium sights. You can use your fiber optics, and that'll be just fine. Along the vein of lights, not going way too way deep into it or anything like that, because I'm I'll probably, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna do a, another video about lights and probably a compare and contrast or something like that, but when it comes to lights, a lot of people, including myself, when I first started out on this track, I was under the impression that if you had the most lumens, if you had the brightest light, you were the man. Like, I want to x-ray, photon blast this guy and just melt his eyeballs. And that's great. 
but there's a time and place for everything just like any other tool and keep in mind that if you are running a light on your firearm that is extremely powerful like 800 thousand up yeah it's gonna light up everything but if you're using it in your home and you have light colored walls white or you know any type of other light color that intense beam is gonna bounce off the wall it's gonna reflect and then you're gonna blind yourself or you're gonna lose your light vision your night vision so that's something that you should be aware of so it's my own opinion <clears throat> as a firearms guy as an instructor not a operator or a cop or anything like that just a youtube gun guy that you should run a dedicated lower lumen light on your home defense firearm unless you are trained in how to use a light if you're trained in how to use a light you know you know how to kind of aim down at the floor or cut, you, you know you angle your your light so that the splash is illuminating and you're not like blasting the intense beam into whatever you're doing but if you're not um, trained in that it's better I think for you to run a lower power light for your home defense gun high power lights are great for property defense for searching stuff like that um, and then another option too is you can run a filter on your light if you have a very strong light I have one of those on my AR and it I have a red filter and that just cuts you know it cuts intensity makes it red light and you can use it for nabs or whatever um but yeah so that's my quick video right there just a real fast thing talking about fiber optics versus tritium um i will be doing a video on lights in depth coming here in a little bit i gotta wait for it to get dark so i can do it but here's a quick vid and i'll see you guys next time thanks